Hey, what's going on everyone? Candid Clarinetas here coming at you with another video. Today we are going to try various cuts of Van Doren reeds and we're gonna figure out what works best for my clarinet. Let's check it out. Before we get started with this video, I wanna know in the comments section, what mouthpiece and what reeds are you playing on? Also, if you haven't yet, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to make it to 1,000 subscribers by the end of December. So obviously when it comes to reeds, you have lots of different choices in terms of your size, strength, cut, brand, lots of different reeds to choose from. But today we're just gonna focus on the Van Doren line. Uh, I would consider these the professional line of Van Doren reeds. Most professionals you'll find use one of these four different cuts of reeds. So first off we have the V12 reeds that comes in the silver box uh, and then we have the blue what people call the blue box reeds. These are the Van Doren traditional reeds. These are the V21 reeds. This is the most recent line of Van Doren reeds that came out. And then you have the 56 Rue Pique which of course is the address to Van Doren in Paris. So both the V21 and the 56 Rue Peak are a different cut of reed than these other two. On these reeds, the tip actually flares out and it's based on the German reed. So I tend to find that you get a little bit more focused of a sound from both the V21 and the 56 Rue Peak. Whereas the V12 and the traditional reeds are completely straight all the way through. I've played on all these different types of reeds throughout my career, and it really depends on what mouthpiece you have for the reed that's gonna work best for you. So obviously we're gonna do a little experiment today, and for any experiment, you need to set up some controls. So the only thing that I'm gonna be changing in this experiment is the different type of reed cut that I'm playing on. Now a little bit of a disclaimer, I will say that I do have to play on different sizes for each one of these reed cuts because they're just a little bit different in terms of the strength of the reed. So if you had a three and a half V12, it's not gonna play the same as say a three and a half traditional reed. So the reed strengths that I've chosen are what I've found to be the best strength for my mouthpiece and my barrel and my ligature and my setup in general. So on the V12s, I'm gonna be playing on three and a half pluses. On the traditional reeds, I'm gonna be playing on fours. On the V21s, I'm gonna be playing on three and a half reeds and the Rula Peaks, I'm gonna be playing on three and a half plus. Now the other thing I will say too, is I'm not gonna be using brand new reeds. I'm gonna be using reeds that I've already broken in and I know are good reeds, so we're gonna get a good quality test here. So the other controls in our experiment are gonna be the mouthpiece. I'm gonna be playing on a Van Doren BD5 mouthpiece. That's the mouthpiece that I've been playing on recently. I'm gonna be using a Van Doren leather ligature with the metal insert. And then of course I'm gonna be playing on my Buffet Tradition clarinet with my Hadash 67 millimeter barrel. <laughs>
So what's the verdict? For me, I actually find with the BD-5 mouthpiece that the two German style reeds work best. And that's not been my experience with other mouthpieces that I've played on, but for some reason the BD-5 really likes these two reeds. So what I've been playing on in orchestra, I've been using the three and a half plus Rula Peak Van Doren reeds. That's probably my favorite out of the bunch. Next, I would say the V21 reeds work really well with this mouthpiece as well. Three and a half size on that. And then in third, I would say the V12 reed three and a half plus. Now, I've had other mouthpieces that work really, really well with V12s and that's really the only reed that I would play on those mouthpieces. But for some reason, the BD5, I just don't really care for the sound and resistance that I get. And then in last place, I'm gonna do the traditional reeds. Now, I will say I love traditional reeds in general. On my old mouthpiece, I play traditionals exclusively. I think they're really, really great reeds. But for the BD-5, I can't actually find a perfect size for me. I think if they made a three and a half plus traditional reed, that would actually be the perfect reed size. And then I would almost definitely play on them on my BD-5, but the three and a halfs are a little light and the fours are a little heavy. So I think moving forward, I'm gonna be playing on the three and a half plus 56 Rula Peak reeds. It gets really nice articulation, a really nice warm sound. I feel like I can put enough air through it. I really like this combination on my Van Doren BD-5 mouthpiece. But let me know in the comments, which read did you prefer? Thanks so much for all the support and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, happy practicing.